Hi everybody, it's Kurt Staley from Simcoe Plastics coming to you from my second favorite playground, my backyard. I wanted to talk to you a little bit today about some terminology that's coming out in the plastics industry or from the plastics industry and you may see this on products that you buy, consume on a regular basis and I thought it would just be worthwhile because these are some new terms and from a plastics perspective it may mean some different things than you might assume. Uh, so the terminology degradable, a biodegradable, and compostable. The last one you think you know what it is, but in plastics it's a little different. So first, degradable. This is, well it's not a misnomer, but it's technically correct. All thermal plastics, uh, and those are the plastics that can be melted, formed, ground up, put back into a machine, melted, formed, etc. All thermal plastics are in fact degradable. Now, of course, it's a question of time. Is it days, weeks, months, years, decades, centuries? But they all break down on their own. And that really has to do with, over time, UV light and heat um, reducing the, the molecular weight of the polymers until naturally occurring bacteria can just do their job and break things down. And we see that to some degree with what happens in the ocean uh, where plastics are recovered and you know it's unfortunate of course but things like paper bags or other bits of plastics they're semi broken down but not all the way so that's UV light which naturally destroys plastics and temperature doing their thing and it's over a certain amount of time and they will break down by the way if we want to make products UV resistant we have to add additives to uh, to facilitate that so all plastics are degradable, just a question of time. So, and I have cheat sheets here to, to make sure I convey the correct information. The next um, classification that you might see is something that's referred to as biodegradable or perhaps oxodegradable, but biodegradable would be uh, more than likely the term that you would hear. And these are plastics that contain an additive um, that promotes or accelerates that molecular weight reduction so naturally occurring organisms, bacteria, can essentially eat the plastic. Um, and <sighs> testing to determine how long plastics break down when they contain these special catalysts, um, it's, um, it's an exact science in a lab, but it's not necessarily an exact science in the real world. So if you are looking at products that state they are biodegradable, you really have to read the packaging and if the product manufacturer is responsible, they should have some criteria to explain how they can claim their product being uh, truly biodegradable. So buyer beware or buyer at least be aware. Uh, and the last, and, and this is potentially the most um, misleading classification, and it's plastics that are referred to as compostable. And again, I urge you to read product packaging to determine for yourself if the manufacturer of the product has certain claims um, and hopefully they're they're doing the right thing and saying what it's really all about but when we talk about compostable plastics these are plastics that are designed to be um, well composted broken down in industrial composters uh, few and far between maybe there are more now if, if somebody is in this industry or the segment of the industry I encourage you to put some comments on and let's let's keep the information up to date um, but when a plastic is compostable it's essentially broken down and turned into greenhouse gases um, much in the same way that when when um, wood degrades it releases greenhouse gases as it slowly breaks down. But this is an industrial composter and it is not your, your organic compost that you have under the sink. Uh, when a compostable plastic breaks down, it does nothing good for the soil. Uh, there's no benefit. It's not like putting your, your food waste in and that can turn into to something you can add to your soil. Compostable plastics aren't like that. So. It's just some terminology you may see, and you're probably going to see more of it as time moves forward. And I just encourage you, as always, to uh, be careful and to uh, make good informed decisions based on the information from the specific product that you can find and uh, doing some research, too. Um, and just lastly, from last week's video, I really want to emphasize plastic straws are recyclable. 
they're made from polypropylene and if treated properly, put in a blue bin, um, they can be ground up and they can be reprocessed into something else. So please don't throw them in the garbage and don't let them go in the water. Treat them to the blue bin, that's where they need to go. So until then, please recycle everything, uh, practice your recycling skills and get out there and protect your playground. We'll talk soon.